Welcome. Today I'd like to share with you a demonstration of a new tool we've been working on at MathJax. This new tool is a full math accessibility solution built to work with any screen reader. It includes on-the-fly speech text generation, highlighting and exploration of a rendered mathematical equation. Like any MathJax project, this tool is open source and only depending on MathML and standard web APIs. Please note that this is work in progress, so various minor or major bugs might occur. However, we are very interested in getting your feedback as early as possible, so please try out our demo, our test page, and everything else, and let us know if you run into issues or encounter any other interesting things we should know about. We are planning the first release for the end of 2015. For this demo, I'm using a standard virtual machine from modern.ie so that you are able to reproduce this, these results easily in your own setup. In this case, this is the Windows 10 virtual machine for testing Microsoft Edge. Our goal is to enable any combination of screen reader, browser, and OS. Of course, that's a very challenging setup, and we have not yet achieved this. For our most recent test results, please see the GitHub page linked to in the notes to this video. In this video, we will be demonstrating a test page using JAWS and Chrome. You can find the URL in the notes for this test page. As you can see, both are already running, so when I switch over to the VM, you will hear oral rendering. I will mostly cut off JAWS to keep this video short and focus on the interaction between JAWS and our accessibility tool. I will also use the mouse to navigate the page, which is maybe irritating if you are only able to listen to this. I hope it will work for you when you visit the page. Otherwise, please let us know immediately. Let's get started. The page is a very simple page. There is a text input area where you can leave text code that gets rendered. There are a couple of pre-compiled examples so that you can have consistent testing across the board. And there are some options for the actual accessibility tool that I won't get into in this video. Finally, there is an area for the output so that it's easier to see where things are happening. Let's refresh the page to see that this is actually live. Control R. Semantic enrichment. Great. Cutting you off jaws. Let's pick an example. Examples colon list box left. Examples colon edit contains text. Great. I've switched to the quadratic formula from the list of examples. That is a simple enough formula so that you can easily check that the voicing is correct, that the highlighting that we'll see actually corresponds to the correct sub-expression and actually meaningfully highlights a sub-expression. To start our accessibility tool, we need to bring the equation into focus. MathJax puts its output in the tab into the tab order so we can use the tab key to focus on the equation. Due to the structure of this page and since we are in the combo box, we just have to tap three times. So let's do this. Tab key button. Tab typeset button. Tab XMath content. Great. JAWS and Chrome actually tell us that this is math content due to the role equals math that is set on this element. Not all browsers do, and we will implement a more generic indicator that helps users identify that the accessibility tool is actually available. To start the accessibility tool, we have to sw switch the screen reader mode. In this case, we have to switch off the virtual PC cursor, as it's called by JAWS. You do this using the JAWS key and Z. In my case, that's the insert key and Z. Use virtual PC cursor off. As you heard, the PC cursor is turned off, and now we can interact with the page directly and start the accessibility tool using shift and space. Shift space, x equals start fraction negative b plus dash or dash minus start root b squared minus 4 c and root over 2 and fraction. Great. You've heard the expression being voiced. If you're seeing this, you will notice that the, uh, the expression has been highlighted and the speech text is actually being inserted into the page. That last part is only for, for debugging purposes for us in this test page. It, it's easier it makes it easier for us to keep track of the text being generated 
without uh, switching on a screen reader every time and switching around between screen readers. That is n obviously not necessary for the voicing. That occurs because in the DOM we are inserting an ARIA Live region, which is updated with the currently relevant speech string as you explore the expression. So how do you explore the expression? Very simple, you use the arrow keys. You use up and down to go through the different levels and left and right to explore an individual level. The structure that we are producing is generated using semantic heuristics based on the internal MathML representation of the expression. This allows us to enrich the MathML and provide a meaningful layered structure of the expression that allows us to actually voice and explore it sensibly. Since we're at the top level, all we can do is go down. So let's hit the down key. X. All right, we're at, we just entered a lower level. We will always start at the leftmost edge so we can go right. Let's hit right. Equals. And right again. Start fraction negative b plus dash or dash minus start root b squared minus four c and root over two and fraction. Great. If we go further right, you won't actually hear anything. We're still working out how we're going to orally indicate that you've reached the edge of a, of a level. Nevertheless, you can go further down to this expression to voice the individual parts because even this fraction is still quite a mouthful to process. Negative b plus dash or dash minus start root b squared minus four c and root. Great. You can see the highlighting actually makes sense. It's not just the individual elements that are being highlighted, but in, in fact the entire expression that we're hearing voiced. This helps especially visually able AT users to enhance their um, processing of the mathematical content. If you go further to the other part of the expression of this fraction, to, uh, you can go further down and you see more of the effects of the semantic enrichment. Two times a. I just switched down to the level and went right twice. And you hear that instead of just the 2a, you actually hear an, an invisible times that is inserted in between them. That's because our, our heuristics are identifying this as a product as opposed to, say, a fixed variable string. Similarly, if you went to the upper part of the fraction, you would hear b squared instead of b superscript 2. Again, this is due to the underlying enrichment that we are attaching to the MathML to give a better accessibility quality. Great, we've explored this expression. To exit the accessibility tool, you simply hit escape. Escape. And then you're back in the usual order of the page. You can switch on um, the JAWS uh, virtual cursor and navigate the page as you please. This example showed JAWS on Windows 10 using Chrome. Similarly, it works with Firefox and certain versions of Internet Explorer, not yet Edge, but we're working on it. If you look into the notes to this video, you will see a link to the support matrix that we're currently working on and expanding as we get more and more platforms to work with our accessibility tools. Thanks so much for listening. Please try out our test pages and let us know if you're running into trouble or what else we could do better.